not make their block a factor? Yeah, um, I think we passed great, and then our attackers were just taking really smart swings, um, even out of system. They've, like you said, they have a big block. They're one of the best. I think they're the best blocking team in the Big Ten, um, and so for them to only have three blocks, uh, that's all credit to our hitters and just being smart in those situations and then taking rips when they had a chance. Um, I think that like we just lost to Wisconsin it was a tough loss and so we have like a meeting and one of the things that we said was like we're gonna come in guns blazing and things like that so I just went all out all of us went all out we just swung for the fences because you have nothing to lose at that point so you feel you made that point that first kill of the match that overpass oh yeah for sure I think conversely too I mean your block was really well tonight too I mean you were in a lot with Kaylin there too mm -hmm. well, what was working well? I mean, were they playing a lot of out-of-system, knowing you're going to get a lot of attacks coming your way? Yeah, they did a lot of out-of-system balls, and you could just tell that the setter hitter connection on that side wasn't very good. She, you know, she was kind of early on some balls. Um, the uh, When the libero would pass, it was super high. So when Katie and I need to make an adjustment. We need to wait a little bit longer. We need to like look at the ball and then the attacker a little bit more. And I think we made the adjustment into the second and third set, and it was really smooth. What was, what was the reaction for the team to losing to Wisconsin and what, what that means for what needs to happen over the next two months? Yeah, um, obviously when you want to win something so bad, it's really draining and frustrating when you don't have a successful result. And I think that's how we felt on Wednesday. We were disappointed with how we played uh, because we knew it could be a lot better. Um, but it just shows where we need to go. Coach just said it, that I think we have eight games left, um, and the ante goes up every game. And we got to be dialed in every game, and the margin for error gets smaller. Um, so we're just going to try to go good to great and play our best in those big moments, which I think we struggled with on Wednesday, and that's why it was so disappointing for us. What was your motivation coming in? You talked about the team meeting, but kind of what, was you, what did you focus on coming off that loss on Wednesday? And kind of what everything that Nikki said, you know, it was a tough loss and like we wanted it so bad and I think that kind of got the best of us. And so just playing free in this game, you know, you have, like I said, you have nothing to lose in this match. Um, we love playing in Bob Devaney because of all the energy and all the fans that it brings. So just play our game that we play every single day and practice and on the court. So. Any questions? Maryland is the best serving team in the Big Ten, and they didn't have an ace against you guys tonight. What was, what was working well for you? Yeah, our passers just did a great job. Um, a lot of communication, and they were fighting up those serves. They were tough serves. I was, like, watching them move while they were going back there, and I was thinking, thank goodness I'm not back there passing those balls. Um, but they did a fantastic job to fighting up those tough serves and really keeping our team and system, and I think it shows in the numbers of just how many people, different people had kills tonight. Mm -hmm. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.
We're good? I'll be, I'll be honest, I was a little nervous tonight about how we, we were come out tonight. Um, we just seemed really flat today at, at Serve and Pass, and um, so I challenged the leaders afterward, like, you gotta make sure these guys are ready to play, and I thought they came out with a great sense of urgency tonight, and we were really sharp, and just kinda uh, really um, deflated Maryland, I think, especially when we started blocking them. And, um, you know, they're, they're leading the conference in blocking, but sometimes when you do something really well and somebody does it back to you, it, it can deflate you pretty fast. And uh, so really nice effort tonight. Got a lot of people in, which was great. And, um, you know, this is, uh, um, you know, a really good rebound match for us. I was also nervous after seeing all the football upsets today, too, which makes me think, gosh. So a lot of crazy ones. So second set, 25 to 9, and they hit like negative 100. What was fun and rewarding for you watching that set? Well, our, our serving, you know, this is, and I know how they fit, felt because this is how we felt Wednesday night. I mean, when sir, you can't pass serves, uh, it just is it's really hard to kill a ball against a great defensive team. and. You know, we're a great defensive team, and, and if you're not passing, it just makes it even harder. So, you know, they couldn't run much middle, uh, and um, so it's it's a you know frustrating thing. And so, our serving was really, really, really causing a lot of problems for them. What did you see from your team after Maryland cut it down to one late in that third set? Yeah, I, uh, I I probably should have called a timeout, but I wanted to just kind of let them work through it. And I should have called a timeout earlier, and I wanted to let them work through it uh, and see, you know, if they could. And we, we've talked about not giving up big runs, and you know, we, we gave up, kind of made four four plays in a row, and and then uh, I also kind of wanted to get the crowd back into it. So get, we it got close, and then you know we re rebooted on that and regrouped and and uh, finished out really strong. Maryland came into the match with leading the Big Ten blocks and aces. I mean, they had five blocks, zero aces. How much of that attribute is that to your passing tonight? Yeah, I mean, they served Maddie a lot of balls tonight, and Maddie held up really well. I think Maddie was on a mission after all of our passes were on a mission after Wednesday night. We, you know, we just we did not have a good effort up there, and uh, we pride ourselves on being a great passing team. I mean, I think this is the fifth match we haven't been aced, and last year. Colgate, very first match, was the only one. I mean, it's very rare to go a match and not get aced. So that's a great job uh, by those guys, and especially Maddie tonight uh, holding, you know, they, they served her, like, how many they served her? Uh, she had 22 attempts tonight. So um, she carries that big load, but she's a pretty good passer, so that means they're not serving the other guys. Are they improved back there? Because, I mean, those – who did a lot of the service seed last year. I mean, is it, have they taken, how have they taken a step forward? Uh, just experience and, and uh, working, playing together. And, and, and that was what was so disappointing about Wednesday night was we just, we, you know, passing is our bread and butter and we just didn't, we, we didn't do a great job of it. So I think they were determined tonight to, to be a great passing team. I'll bet our pass numbers are pretty good. Are you happy looking at the kill totals? Three players with seven, three players with five? Yeah, and uh, there you go. That's great balance right there. So we got people who can kill the ball if we can get them the ball. So it's, uh, um, but yeah, I felt really good. Our, our middle attack was is getting better, which is important. Caitlin, Caitlin, I think looked looked a little more comfortable tonight, um, and so. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty balanced attack right there. Very balanced. How would you evaluate your hitters' decision making going against that Maryland block? Uh, for the most part, they did a good job tonight. Um, we had a couple swings I'd like to have back, uh, and where we probably went too soft and you know didn't challenge their block enough. Uh, but they, they are a very good blocking team. I mean, I, we've studied them because he. Adam, their coach, is doing a great job with that. I don't know how he gets them to serve so well and have more aces and errors at this point in the year. That's, I don't know if I've ever seen that. So he's he's doing something right with those guys. But you know, I challenged them tonight. Here we go, number one blocking team and number one serving team. So you know, 
got got to be up for this, and they responded really well. Help, uh, help Madden uh, to get the uh, Halloween costume yet? Oh yeah, they she had it today up there. I got videos, so <laughs> so yeah, she's yeah they were into it. <laughs>